welcome back to biotech we are going to see another important chapter microbial world okay today we shall see the microbial world part 1 microbial world part 1 right so this microbial world micro means small whereas organisms means organism that means small organisms microorganisms microbial world in microbial world we study about the small organisms see we can di divide the word microorganisms microorganisms so in microorganisms micro means small small means we can observe only through the microscope which are not visible with our naked eye directly we cannot see them but we can see only through the microscope so such type of living organisms are called microorganisms very simple micro means very small that means we can observe or we can see only through the microscope this is called microorganisms in microbial world the first and most important scientist we have to be remembered the person is antony van leeuwenhoek already we studied in the last chapter antony van leeuwenhoek he is the person who studied about the uh, one of the most important person who studied about the microorganisms antony van leeuwenhoek he belongs to the dutch country so antony van leeuwenhoek antony van leeuwenhoek he belongs to the dutch country his country name is dutch in the year of 1674 he observed the pond water basically he is he is not a scientist but he is a one of the merchant but because of his curiosity he also observed the pond water with the single lens microscope he has prepared a single lens microscope that single lens microscope can magnify 300 times more so this is the most important point so with the help of a single lens microscope this dutch scientist who is antony van leeuwenhoek observed the pond water when he observed the pond water he had seen some microorganisms like bacteria okay ah uh, yeast and protozoans protozoans okay and also he also observed the rbc these are the different types of living organisms he observed very very most important what are the organisms observed by the antony van leeuwenhoek in the year of 1674 in the year of 1674 antony van leeuwenhoek observed the first one is bacteria second one is yeast already i explained yeast is the only single celled organism in the fungi kingdom next protozoans proto means first zoa means animals so protozoans like amoeba what paramecium euglena etc that is protozoans and also he also observed the rbc so these are the different types of things and first first time he observed the living things through the microscope and finally he said this living things in the year of 1678 these living things he called as animal cules he called as animal cules in the year of 1678 he called as animal cules so later the bacteria he called as animal cules like yeast protozoans and other organisms also is there so animal cules that word represents under animal cules that word represents bacteria and what different types of organisms were different uh, what different types of organisms were discovered by the antony van leeuwenhoek bacteria yeast protozoan and rbc so this is about the small introduction regarding the antony van leeuwenhoek so he is a one of the dutch scientist or uh, he was a one of the merchant so he, he 
absorb the pond water under the microscope because he has prepared a single lens microscope with its single lens microscope he absorbed the pond water in the pond water he had seen these living organisms now let us observe the micro different types of microorganisms in the chapter okay so what are the different types of microorganisms we can observe in the microbial world right we can observe the different types of microorganisms in the microbial world first one is bacteria see first one is bacteria see if you observe the bacteria here we can see the different types of bacteria generally bacteria can survive everywhere in the world bacteria can survive everywhere bacteria are living in the water bacteria are in the air bacteria are in uh, atmosphere bacteria are present on our skin bacteria is present on the uh, plants everywhere bacteria can survive then here the shape of the bacteria if we can observe first one is this circular shape bacteria is called as cocci bacteria bacteria are generally circular in shape and the second one is rod shaped bacteria this is the circular shaped bacteria is called circular shaped bacteria is called cocci bacteria and second one is rod shaped bacteria or comma shaped bacteria rod shaped rod shaped comma shaped bacteria rod shaped bacteria okay see this is okay first circular shaped bacteria the circular shaped bacteria is called circular shaped bacteria is called cocci and second one is uh, comma shaped or bacteria is uh, here bacillus next this is lactobacillus So different shapes of bacteria we can observe. If the bacteria is in circular shape, we can say that is cocci bacteria. If the bacteria is in comma shaped vibrio, okay, comma shaped bacteria is called vibrio. And next, alage next see this is lactobacillus. The rectangle shaped see this is lactobacillus. So like this we can observe the different shapes of bacteria in the textbook itself we can observe see here lactobacillus okay next and one bacillus bacteria lactobacillus bacteria and cocci bacteria okay so different types of bacteria we can observe in the textbook we can observe here now where is the bacteria are bacteria is present in everywhere in the air in water in the soil on our body okay in uh, armpit at the armpit and in atmosphere everywhere bacteria can be observed next let us see bacteria observation through the okay observing our bacteria in curd here activity number one we shall see in the activity number one observing bacteria in curd suppose take one or two drops of uh, curd take one or two drops of curd take one or two drops of curd spread it on the slide so slide if we take the slide here so this buttermilk or curd should spread on the slide the buttermilk or curd should spread on the slide and next next thing is heat it with the spirit lamp okay heat it with the help of spirit lamp for 3 to 4 seconds very very important the time is very important 3 to 4 seconds heat the spirit heat heat with the help of spirit lamp okay so when we heat with the help of spirit lamp the bacteria which is present in the curd is Stick to the slide. If you have a slide, you can already get a slide. You can get a curd, you can get a buttermilk, you can get a spread. 
the curd or buttermilk when we boil it or heat it with the help of spirit lamp for 3 to 4 seconds so that bacteria present in the curd is sticked to the or atukkon potadan mata then ki slide then after add crystal violet add crystal violet stain to the slide if you add the crystal violet stain to the slide so that we can observe the bacteria very clearly then after wait for 30 to 60 seconds next wait for 30 to 60 seconds if you wait for 30 to 60 seconds then after after 30 to 60 seconds then gently wash slowly or gently wash the slide under tap water okay gently wash under the tap water the slide should wash under the tap water very slowly or gently then now observe under the microscope now observe under the microscope if you observe under the microscope here we can see the bacteria present in the curd or the lactic acid bacteria present in the curd see clearly we can observe bacteria present in the curd the lactobacillus present in the curd so here the lactobacillus is a one type of bacteria which is which is useful bacteria which converts the milk into curd so clearly we can observe in this way the bacteria which is present in the curd so once again how we have observed the bacteria present in the curd for the observation of bacteria present in the curd take one or two drops of curd keep it on the slide spread it on the slide and heat it on the spirit lamp for three to four seconds and then after add crystal violet color and wait for 30 to 60 seconds then after gently wash under the tap water and now put it under the microscope and observe we can see very clearly the lactic acid bacteria under the microscope so this is about the observation of bacteria through the microscope what bacteria lactic acid bacteria this is a useful bacteria okay now we shall see some bacterial diseases next we shall see some bacterial diseases so some bacteria are useful some bacteria are harmful generally now we just now we discussed the bacteria useful lactobacillus is useful for for preparation of milk into curd lactobacillus is a one of the bacteria or lactic acid bacteria is a one of the bacteria which is useful for conversion of milk into curd whereas rhizobium leguminaceum is a one of the bacteria which is useful for atmospheric nitrogen to nitrates rhizobium is a one of the bacteria this rhizobium bacteria generally which converts the atmospheric nitrogen to nitrates so this is also useful bacteria this is a symbiotic bacteria this is also a symbiotic bacteria okay third one is e coli bacteria e coli bacteria the general e coli bacteria is also a symbiotic bacteria e coli bacteria which lives in our intestine or in our large intestine e coli bacteria lives in our large intestine which associates with our digestive tract and prepares the vitamin b12 very very most important which prepares the vitamin b12 e coli bacteria which can prepare the vitamin b12 this is also useful bacteria whereas this is about some useful bacteria lactobacillus is useful bacteria e coli bacteria is a useful bacteria rhizobium bacteria is a useful bacteria so like that we can say some bacteria are useful all the bacteria are not harmful some bacteria are useful whereas another important thing harmful bacteria where we can see harmful bacteria which cause diseases harmful bacteria means which cause diseases the bacteria which are causing diseases what type of diseases harmful bacteria which cause diseases first one is tb tuberculosis tb means tuberculosis okay microbacterium tuberculosis 
this is one of the bacteria causes tb this is uh, one of the disease affects our lungs so tuberculosis tb is a one of the disease caused by bacteria next leprosy leprosy is also caused by the bacteria mycobacterium leprae it is a one of the bacteria causes this leprosy next typhoid typhoid is also caused by the bacteria okay salmonella typhi it is a one of the bacteria which causes what typhoid disease okay next one cholera cholera is also caused by bacteria so vibrio cholera vibrio cholera is caused by cholera disease this is wanting sign motion sir next another one is most important is septicemia this means poisonous fever poisonous fever septicemia is also caused by what bacteria this is poisonous fever so in with this we can understand some bacteria are causing diseases inka syphilis gonorrhea this is sexually transmitted diseases syphilis syphilis gonorrhea and seventh one gonorrhea here i have written some diseases caused by bacteria see this last two syphilis and gonorrhea these two are stds that means sexually transmitted diseases caused by the bacteria syphilis and gonorrhea but remaining are caused by either air water food etc so septicemia is poisonous fever it is also caused by bacteria cholera it is caused by bacteria typhoid is caused by bacteria leprosy is caused by bacteria tb is also caused by the bacteria these are all the different types of bacterial diseases so with this we can understand some diseases are caused by the bacteria so bacteria are not completely useful or not completely harmful so bacteria are friends and foes so that we can understand microorganisms are friends and foes and last finally the largest bacteria in the world okay largest bacteria in the world so what is the largest bacteria the largest bacteria in the world is it is approximately 0.75 mm length so that we can see directly with our naked eye the largest bacteria its length is approximately 0.75 mm it is theo margarita namibiensis theo margarita namibiensis namibiensis theo margarita namibiensis this is a one of the largest bacteria in the world which is discovered by hyde and schulz hyde and schulz hyde and schulz so this hyde and schulz it is a, he is a one of the scientist who discovered this largest bacteria in the namibia sea shore namibia ne oka sea shore namibia ne oka samudra teeram daggara theo margarita namibiensis ani oka bacteria ni kanukunnadu andukane deeniki theo namibiensis ane peru pettindi theo margarita namibiensis ani enduku peru pettam ante it is discovered in the sea shore of namibia sea and it is discovered by the scientist is hyde and schulz its length is 0.75 mm so this type of bacteria is directly visible with our naked eye there no need of without any microscope or without any microscope we can see this bacteria that is uh, you, visible bacteria with our naked eye directly so this is the largest bacteria and one more is smallest bacteria in the world smallest bacteria smallest bacteria in the world is see mycoplasma smallest bacteria in the world is mycoplasma this is also one of the bacteria this is the smallest bacteria and also smallest cell we can also say this is the smallest cell in the world when we discussed about the cell the basic unit of life that last uh, last point we studied that largest cell is ostrich egg whereas smallest cell is mycoplasma smallest cell is mycoplasma means which is a one of one of the bacteria that is 0.1 to 
जीरो पॉइंट वन टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव माइक्रोमीटर इट्स लेंथ इज जीरो पॉइंट वन टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव माइक्रोमीटर सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द अब्जर्विंग बैक्टीरिया डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ बैक्टीरिया सो हियर वी स्टडीड अबाउट वॉट इज बैक्टीरिया बैक्टीरिया इज फर्स्ट टाइम डिस्कवर्ड बाई ओके बैक्टीरिया वर बैक्टीरिया इज डिस्कवर्ड बाई आर बैक्टीरिया वर सीन बाई एंटोनी वन लिवन हुक फर्स्ट टाइम बैक्टीरिया वर सीन बाई एंटोनी वन लिवन हुक विद द हेल्प ऑफ माइक्रोस्कोप ओके दिस बैक्टीरिया इज ऑल्सो लेटर ही कॉल्ड एज एनिमल क्यूल्स एंड वी ऑब्जर्व द बैक्टीरिया वी हैव एक्टिविटी इन द एक्टिविटी वी ऑब्जर्व द बैक्टीरिया इन बटर मिल्क और कर्ड and next some useful bacterias and some harmful bacterias and last one we studied about the largest bacteria in the world and also smallest bacteria in the world right and next one is we shall observe about the algae right next we shall see here algae right next we shall see about the algae see generally algae is also one of the smallest microorganisms but algae means here these are the greenish spots which are appeared in the water the greenish colored pods which can be seen in the water are called algae that's why sometimes we can see the water is in green color okay so the greenish pods are peripheral on the peripheral or surface of the water that is algae algae means algae is not differentiated into root stem leaf very very most important point algae is not differentiated into into root stem leaf generally it is a lower plant algae means what algae is a lower plant lower plant means generally plant it has the root stem leaf if you observe a plant a plant generally it has the root stem leaf but algae it is also a lower plant but it doesn't have root stem leaf it is not differentiated into root stem leaf only the thallus is present the green colored thallus is present this green colored thallus consists of chloroplast and it traps the solar energy associates with the carbon dioxide water sunlight so it can prepare the food by itself though the algae is a micro organism microbial part but though it can prepare the food by itself so it is also called as an autotrophs inka algae ni em cheppochu ante manam Algae is also called as one of the autotrophs. Very very important. Algae is also called autotrophs. And visible algae, very very important. Visible algae. According to the textbook, the visible algae is Cara and Spirogyra. Cara and Spirogyra. These two are visible algae. okay the visible algae there is two names were mentioned in the textbook the visible algae are cara and spirogyra besides this cara and spirogyra there is also some other algae we shall see that is diatoms diatoms the bit ne manam floating patches of the sea ani kodu antam very very important bit diatoms also called diatomaceous earth or floating pastures of the sea and good and so diatom diatoms next one spirulina spirulina edogonium spirulina edogonium ceratium so these are the different types of algae were mentioned in the textbook already we have discussed that cara and spirogyra these are visible algae okay cara and spirogyra these two are visible algae very special character and non visible which can be seen only through microscope these are four remaining four we can see through the microscope that is diatoms diatoms are very microscopic in structure 
these are called micro uh, what di diatomaceous earth are floating pastures of the sea next spirulina generally spirulina diatom structure if you can observe see the diatoms are like this so diatoms we can observe like this spirulina just like a spring spring shaped see like this spirulina eudogonium is like a straight see like this the straight structures we can observe then ceratium okay ceratium this ceratium is like this just like our palm the figures which are present in our palm how they are just like ceratium the finger like projections we can observe in the ceratium so this sometimes he will ask for he will also ask the question on the basis of the diagrams he will give directly the diagrams like ceratium eudogonium spirulina diatoms cara spirogyra okay so that we should also remember the diagrams ceratium just like finger like projections next eudogonium straight forward the straight forward like a stick stick like structures then spirulina like a spring spirulina spring so spring like structures then diatoms are circular shaped structures then cara spirogyra these are the different types of uh, algae which were mentioned in our textbook so that we should be remember and one more important thing already i explained uh, algae is a one of the autotrophs which can prepare the food by uh, themselves because they consist of chloroplast which can trap the solar energy and associates with carbon dioxide and water sunlight and prepare the food by itself and uh, most of the algae that means which are autotrophs so 50 percentage of the oxygen in the atmosphere very very most important bit 50 percentage of oxygen in the atmosphere okay produced by the algae okay well man boom middle of the oxygen can cut use quantity total hundred percent oxygen low even 50 percentage of the oxygen in the atmosphere is produced by the algae so this is the most important point should be remembered regarding the algae right so this is about uh, algae algae is also microorganisms which can be seen through the microscope but only two are visible algae according to the textbook that is called cara and spirogyra and remaining eudogonium spirulina ceratium diatoms these are all the different types of algae algae is generally lower plants which are not differentiated into root stem leaf but though they consist of chloroplast prepare the food by themselves and next one their structures their shape and structures also should be remembered okay they are present in the water so that's why the greenish parts we can observe in the pond lake etc next one 50 percentage of the oxygen in the atmosphere the 50 percentage of oxygen in the atmosphere is is uh, responsible uh, 50 percentage of oxygen is produced from the algae this is about uh, microorganisms uh, algae okay next one is fungi we shall see about the fungi right what about the fungi even fungi is also microorganism but fungi is first multicellular organism first multicellular organism in the world is fungi but only the single celled organism in the fungi single celled organism is yeast cells this is the most important yeast is the single celled organism of fungi but except yeast remaining all the fungi is what multicellular organisms okay then fungi we can observe in the rainy season on dead and decaying matter or on rotten matter or decaying of the uh, any matter on the earth we can see some umbrella like structures will be grown some umbrella like structures will be grown on the earth where there is rotten matter so these umbrella like structures where there is rotten matter or decaying matter so this is called mushrooms even mushroom is an example for what fungi so this is directly visible with our naked eye not no need to see through the microscope 
but fungi is a first multicellular organism but first single first multicellular organism is fungi but only one is except single celled organism in the fungi is yeast cells generally yeast is used for the different types of uh, what uh, fermentation process like preparation of cakes bread in the bakery items bread cakes okay idli dosa pindi పులవడానికి కానీ ఈస్ట్ సెల్స్ని వాడతాము ఈ విధంగా డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ నేను ప్రిపరేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్కహాల్స్ ప్రిపరేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఓకే ఇతైల్ ఆల్కహాల్ ఇలా డిఫరెంట్ ప్రాసెస్లో ఈస్ట్ సెల్స్ని వాడతాం ఈస్ట్ ఈజ్ ద సింగిల్ సెల్డ్ ఫంజీ నై రైట్ ఇక నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఫంజీ ఇట్ కాజెస్ సమ్ డిసీజెస్ ఫంజీ కాజెస్ సమ్ డిసీజెస్ ఇన్ ద హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్స్ అండ్ ప్లాంట్స్ ఫంజి సపోజ్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ద కామన్ స్కిన్ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్ స్కిన్ డిసీజెస్ ఇన్ ద హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్స్ ఫంగి ఇట్ కాల్స్ కామన్ స్కిన్ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్స్ జనరలీ డ్యూ టు ద ఫంగి ఇన్ ద హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్స్ ద స్కిన్ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్స్ మే అక్క సో దిస్ ఈజ్ అబౌట్ ఫంజి అబ్జర్వేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఫంజి సో వేర్ వీ కెన్ అబ్జర్వ్ ఫంజి ఫంజి వీ కెన్ అబ్జర్వ్ ఆన్ ద రోట్ అండ్ మ్యాటర్ ఆర్ డికేయింగ్ మ్యాటర్ డ్యూరింగ్ ద రెయినీ సీజన్ సమ్ మాంబరిల స్ట్రక్చర్స్ లైక్ స్ట్రక్చర్స్ విల్ బీ గ్రోన్ దే ఆర్ కాల్డ్ మష్రూమ్స్ సో దిస్ మష్రూమ్స్ ఆర్ మల్టీసెల్యులర్ ఆర్గానిజమ్స్ వీ కెన్ సీ డైరెక్ట్లీ విత్ అవర్ నేకడ్ ఐ బట్ ద సింగిల్ సెల్డ్ ఫంజీ ఈజ్ కాల్డ్ ఈస్ట్ ద ఈస్ట్ కెన్ బీ యూస్ టు ప్రిపేర్ ద డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫుడ్ ప్రొడక్ట్స్ ఆర్ ఇన్ ద ఆల్కహాలిక్ ఇండస్ట్రీస్ టు ప్రిపేర్ ద ఆల్కహాల్స్ అండ్ ఇన్ ద డిఫరెంట్ మేనర్ ఈవెన్ ఫుడ్ మెటీరియల్స్ ఆల్సో వీ కెన్ ఈవెన్ ద ప్రిపరేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఫుడ్ లైక్ బ్రెడ్ కేక్ ఓకే దిస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఫుడ్ మెటీరియల్స్ ఆల్సో ప్రిపేర్ త్రూ ద హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ ది ఫంజీ what yeast yeast is a single cell fungi next fungi it causes diseases the diseases are common skin infections common skin dermatitis like skin infections are caused by the fungi so this is about what observation of fungi so we have observed the bacteria algae fungi and also next one is protozoans next we shall see about the protozoans one more see we'll see about the protozoans proto means first here we can see protozoans we can divide the word we can divide the word what is the proto means first here okay proto means first zoa means animal if we together say protozoa that means the first animals in the world these are the first living organisms on the world so these are single celled organisms like amoeba uh, paramecium euglena okay these are the single celled organism but these are eukaryotic cells that means the nucleus is surrounded by the nuclear membrane especially the nucleus is surrounded by the nuclear membrane is called eukaryotic cells so this type of living organisms are in the single celled organism but eukaryotic you, you can remember but single celled organisms without nuclear membrane around the nucleus is called moneras example bacteria just now we studied about the bacteria no bacteria are belongs to the many monera kingdom monera kingdom lo unna living organisms lo bacteria lo suppose cyanobacteria gaani bacteria gaani ilanti vaatlallo that nucleus is not surrounded by the nuclear membrane so they are called prokaryotes all the prokaryotes are under the monera kingdom but single celled organism with but eukaryotes in the protista kingdom they are called protozoans okay this protozoans ni ela observe chestam man observation of protozoans protozoans ni observe cheyalante em ledu endu gaddi ledha hay antam kada man pashula kese endu gaddi ni so this hay should be soaked in the water for 3 to 4 days take a beaker and pour some water and keep the hay for 4 to 5 days end gaddini iskoni beaker of water lo esi oka 3 to 4 days ganta danni manam wait chesthe deentlo konni protozoans anedi ganapadtayi manaku so if we అబ్జర్వ్ అండర్ ద మైక్రోస్కోప్ దీంట్లో ఈ ప్రో ఈ ఎండు గడ్డిలో ఉన్న వాటర్లో నుంచి కొంత తీసుకొని ఎండు గడ్డిని సోక్ చేసి సోకింగ్ చేసిన అంటే ఎండు గడ్డిని నానబెట్టిన ఆ వాటర్లో కొంత డ్రాప్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ వన్ ఆర్ టూ డ్రాప్స్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ తీసుకొని స్లైడ్ పైన వేసి దాన్ని మైక్రోస్కోప్ కింద పెట్టి చూస్తే దెన్ వీ షెల్ అబ్జర్వ్ ద ప్రోటోజువాన్స్ ప్రోటోజువాన్స్కి ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఈజ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ప్రోటోజువాన్ హియర్ ప్రోటోజువాన్స్కి ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఈజ్ అమీబా 
see amoeba is protozoan see amoeba doesn't have any shape generally amoeba doesn't have any shape why because it has pseudopodiums the pseudopodiums are not constant they continuously change pseudopodiums are not constant they continuously change pseudo means false pseudo means false podium means feet so we can divide the word pseudo means false podium means feet so what can we understand here false feet these false feet are not constant they are continuously changing that's why amoeba doesn't have any specific shape so amoeba is one of the example of protozoan whereas paramecium see paramecium paramecium is also called slipper animalcule but it has specific shape okay this is paramecium next to euglena okay euglena these are all the different types of living organisms we can observe through the where protozoans then protozoans causing some diseases diseases what malaria malaria is caused by the protozoan female anaphylaxis mosquito spread this disease but this disease causing organism is plasmodium vivax it is a one of the parasite this, that plasmodium vivax is a parasite which causes malaria plasmodium it is a protozoan which causes malaria but this plasmodium is spreaded by female anaphylaxis mosquito generally we think so that female anaphylaxis mosquito causes the malaria but which do not cause it cause it is an it is a vector female anaphylaxis mosquito is a vector female anaphylaxis mosquito it is a vector vector means a vector which can spread the disease but do not cause the disease whereas uh, plasmodium is a parasite which causes the disease this is a protozoan which causes the disease so malaria one of the disease protozoans disease law one of the disease is malaria next amoebiasis amoebiasis one more is amoebiasis is also caused by the protozoans these are the two important diseases caused by the protozoans one is amoebiasis second one is malaria so this is all about uh, what protozoans okay we studied about uh, different types of bacteria algae fungi protozoans so one most important thing one thing i we missed uh, what is regarding the uh, fungi see here fungi we can observe regarding the textbook once again just i will remind about the fungi here different types of fungi if we can observe here pencilium pencilium notatum is a fungi so pencilium generally the conidias of pencilium are like this we can observe the pencilium with this long conidiums alage second one is uh, what aspergillus 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 uh, see aspergillus conidias are just this round very small conidiums we can observe so this aspergillus niger can produce the acetic acid very very important aspergillus niger it is a one of the fungi in the fermentation process it can produce the acetic acid very very most important acetic acid is produced by the aspergillus whereas pencilium it is also a fungi pencilium can produce the penicillin antibiotic generally antibiotics are produced by the fungi and also some bacteria okay so pencilium pencilium notatum is a fungi this pencilium notatum can be observed through the long conidias pencilium notatum is used to produce the penicillin and antibiotic then penicillin antibiotic is produced by the penicillium notatum whereas aspergillus aspergillus is also a one of the fungi which can produce the acetic acid this acetic acid is produced from the aspergillus through the fermentation process okay whereas mucor is also a fungi Ila, different types of fungis we can observe uh, in the textbook so that is about uh, what a uh, fungi you can next coming to the uh, one more so bacteria we completed and protozoans we completed and next one uh, algae we completed okay the last one is microarthropods we shall see microarthropods microarthropods 
see we can also divide the word here micro arthropods micro means small we can say small arthro we can divide the word arthro means joint poda means legs so we can uh, combine the words arthropods joint legged animals first joint legged animals are called arthropods arthropods are the arthropoda is a one of the largest kingdom in the animal kingdom there are there are lakhs of species are present in the arthropoda okay arthropods lo ikkada especially we can observe the different types of arthropods in the textbook okay cyclops cyclops okay we can observe the cyclops next uh, daphnia okay scabies mite okay eyelash mite eyelash mite these are all the different types of what micro arthropods so micro arthropods means micro means small arthro means joint poda means legs so joint legged animals these are also called joint legged animals and one more important point micro arthropods are not considered as micro organisms according to the textbook micro arthropods are not considered not considered as micro organisms key point very very important we should underline the word what is which of these micro organisms are not considered as micro organism or which of these organisms are not considered as micro organisms ante micro arthropods micro arthropods are not at all considered as micro organisms so in this we can observe the there is cyclops daphnia scabies eyelash mite so these are the different types of living organisms we can observe in the micro arthropods even micro arthropods like scabies which causes scabies disease in the human beings eyelash mite causes eyelash diseases so it's cyclops or daphnia we can observe suppose cyclops we can observe in the old books suppose in some old books we can observe daphnia so these are all the different micro arthropods this is also causes some skin diseases some of the diseases like scabies cause skin diseases eyelash mite causes eyelash diseases so these are all the different types of the micro organisms like bacteria algae fungi protozoans micro arthropods so these are all the different types of micro organisms which cause diseases and which we can observe in the textbook and last one one more is there but this is not micro organism this is something different from the other living organism in the uh, textbook do you know and do you know it is given that is what about virus one more is there in the textbook but it is not included in the micro organisms generally micro organisms are with a cell or cell is surrounded by the cell membrane or cell content cell organelles so we can observe like that but virus is not like that for the virus cell theory is not applicable so cell theory is not applicable to the virus because virus when it is outside it behaves like a non living object but whenever it enters into the host cell it behaves like living organism that's why we can say this virus is a one of the interlink in between the living and non living things why because it behaves as a non living object and also behaves as a living object when virus is outside it behaves as a non living object when it is enters into the cell it behaves as a living object that's why we can say that it is a connector or an interlink in between the living and non living things so he he may be him uh, that question might be asked like this which of this living organism is acting as a interlink in between the living and non living organisms or living and non living things and a virus is acting as and cell theory is not applicable here cell ane padam deniki sambandhinchindi kaadu cell gaani cell membrane gaani dinlo undadu only some genetic material only some because of the presence of some genetic material like the dna or rna this is considered as a living organism but it has not Uh, related to the living things uh, it is it has not related to the cell theory cell theory or cell or cell contents are not present or not observed in the virus but only one small genome or small genetic material we can observe in the virus so some viral diseases if we can observe see 
viral diseases before that we shall see here there are two diagrams in the textbook one is aids virus diagram is given see aids virus if you observe the aids virus see like this we can see some aids virus diagram in the textbook so this aids virus is generally it is a one of the very very most important character and aids virus ke sambandhinchina oka important character 2023 gurukula lo vachina oka question entante which what is the shape of the aids virus and the aids virus shape is circular shape so write some characters of spherical okay spherical membrane enveloped okay this characters you can write spherical this is not there in the textbook but by seeing the diagram we can understand it is spherical in shape so this is the circular shape no spherical in shape and next one is membrane enveloped this is membrane enveloped membrane enveloped membrane enveloped and one more important character its pleomorphic pleomorphic variants it consists of pleomorphic variants pleomorphic variants and it is approximately about 300 to 1500 angstroms in diameter it is approximately 1000 to 1500 angstroms in diameter these are the very very most important points we should remember and one more question is also asked in the 2023 gurukula examination it contain two copies of single stranded positive uh, gene positive gene rna genome it is a okay rna genome virus we most important points we need to get call very very important spherical in shape membrane enveloped pleomorphic variants it is approximately 1000 to 1500 angstroms okay it is a rna genome and contains two copies of single stranded positive gene single stranded positive gene idu kuda adigindi manna single stranded positive gene single stranded positive gene ee red sketch tho rasindi very important hiv virus is a single stranded positive gene okay it is a rna gene name virus 100 to 1500 angstroms in diameter pleomorphic virion membranous enveloped spherical shaped so this is all about uh, hiv virus importance so this is very very uh, focusing uh, a uh, subject focusing information so we should remember this important points and next one is one more virus is there that is what about uh, tmv virus we can also see the tmv virus in the textbook see tmv virus tobacco mosaic virus see tobacco mosaic virus tobacco mosaic virus this is called rna in the diagram if you can observe this is rna and this is capsid in tobacco mosaic virus in the diagram itself we he can show the diagram and ask the question ee diagram ichi dintlo where is rna where is capsid and adugutadu oka vela adigite this is rna this is the capsid so ila ee shape lo undi kada idi rna this is capsid and one more important thing important thing this is the first virus which is discovered in the world first virus first virus discovered in the world is tmv tobacco mosaic virus in tobacco plants this is spreaded by the insects tobacco mosaic virus is caused by the virus it is spreaded by the insects this is the first virus it is discovered in the world that is tobacco mosaic virus and tobacco mosaic virus is rod shaped దీనికి కూడా కొన్ని ఇంపార్టెంట్ పాయింట్స్ ఉన్నాయి చూడండి ఇట్ ఈస్ రాడ్ షేప్డ్ వైరస్ ఇంతకుముందు మనకు ఎయిడ్స్ వైరస్ యొక్క షేప్ స్పెరికల్ షేప్డ్ అని లేకపోతే ఏంటిది సింగిల్ స్టాండర్డ్ ఆర్ఎన్ఏ జీనోమ్ అని ఓకే అలా నేర్చుకున్నాం కదా ఇక్కడ కూడా సేమ్ ఇది రాడ్ షేప్డ్ రాడ్ షేప్డ్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ రాడ్ షేప్డ్ వైరస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అప్రాక్సిమేట్లీ త్రీ హండ్రెడ్ నానోమీటర్స్ లాంగ్ 
300 nanometers long this is 300 nanometers long okay this is about uh, what tobacco mosaic virus ne rod shaped okay next 300 nanometers long next one uh, single stranded rna deenlo kuda single stranded rna with protein coat single stranded rna with protein coat protein coat ఆ ప్రోటీన్ కోట్ని ఏమంటాం మనం క్యాప్సిడ్ అంటాం ద ప్రోటీన్ కోట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ క్యాప్సిడ్ సి దిస్ ఈజ్ ద సింగిల్ స్టాండర్డ్ ఆర్ఎన్ఏ సింగిల్ స్టాండర్డ్ ఆర్ఎన్ఏ దిస్ ఈజ్ సింగిల్ స్టాండర్డ్ ఆర్ఎన్ఏ ఓకే దిస్ సింగిల్ స్టాండర్డ్ ఆర్ఎన్ఏ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ క్యాప్సిడ్ దిస్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ క్యాప్సిడ్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ ఆర్ఎన్ఏ ఇలా టిఎంఈ వైరస్ దిస్ ఈజ్ అబౌట్ ద టిఎంఈ వైరస్ టొబాకో మొజాయిక్ వైరస్ టొబాకో మొజాయిక్ వైరస్ ఈజ్ ద ఫస్ట్ వైరస్ విచ్ ఎవర్ డిస్కవర్డ్ ఇన్ ద వరల్డ్ ఫస్ట్ టైమ్ డిస్కవర్డ్ ఇన్ ద వరల్డ్ ద టిఎంఈ వైరస్ ఇట్ కన్సిస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఏ సింగిల్ స్టాండర్డ్ ఆర్ఎన్ఏ అండ్ క్యాప్సిడ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ రాడ్ షేప్డ్ ఇట్స్ లెంత్ ఈస్ త్రీ హండ్రెడ్ నానోమీటర్స్ లాంగ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ సింగిల్ స్టాండర్డ్ ఆర్ఎన్ఏ వైరస్ ఓకే దెన్ విల్ సీ సమ్ వైరల్ డిసీజెస్ సమ్ వైరల్ డిసీజెస్ ఇఫ్ యూ కెన్ అబ్జర్వ్ సమ్ వైరల్ డిసీజెస్ ఇన్ ద హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్స్ సి స్వైన్ ఫ్లూ ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ చికెన్ పాక్స్ chicken pox okay next corona aids okay ebola next common cold common cold okay ila number of diseases we can write about the viral diseases so most of the viral diseases are spreaded by the air so the this is about the viral diseases so finally we discussed about the different types of microorganisms like microorganisms like a virus ni manam include cheyagudu this is separate from the microorganisms because all the microorganisms are made up of with cell cell contents but virus is not like that so virus is separate it is an interlink in between the what uh, ma, interlink between the living and non living things and where is ganka chuste like bacteria algae fungi protozoa micro arthropods these are the micro organism but virus is different from the others so with this all we have discussed about the observation of micro organisms the shape of micro organisms and the diseases caused by the micro organism so this is all about the microbial world part 1 in the microbial world part 2 in the coming class we shall discuss about the 